Hey guys, Oster, and today I'm going to be going over exactly how to use the wiki command in Pixelmon. For those who don't know, this is very similar to the old command, which was slash... I actually forget what it was, but it would tell you where, uh, how you got the Pokemon, how you evolved them, where they spawned, etc. All those commands have been essentially condensed into one command known as the wiki command. So we're going to be going over exactly how you use the command, how it works, and this isn't going to be that long of a video, I'll just say right off the bat. So if you guys enjoy it, leave a like, consider subscribing if you're new, I cover as much Pixelmon content as I possibly can on the channel, and let's get right into this. Also, shouts to the Mega Beedrill staring at me down there. So... To start things off, how you do this command is you type slash wiki in your search key. Also, keep in mind that this might be disabled on servers if you guys are playing on any servers. But if you're playing just with your friends on a local world or your own customized server, or if you're just playing single player, this command will work. So slash wiki space, and you'll notice immediately a tab comes up with numbers, and then it starts saying like ability or a bomb, a snow, etc. And what this command does is essentially pulls from the actual wiki of Pixelmon itself. If you guys have watched my Pixelmon guides, you will know that you can uh, obviously go on their website and look at all the different ways that things spawn. So I'm going to start things off pretty simple. Mew. So after I hit Mew, I'm going to hit space again. And now it's going to still say more things, but you don't need to do anything after that. I'm just going to hit enter. So after I do that, you will see it now says at the bottom left, I'll try, I'll zoom into it probably in post editing, but it says Muse Wiki web page and then link. You can click to open the actual web page and that tells you what you need to know. So it says types, psychic ability, synchronize, catch rate 45, which means a 45% catch rate. Base stats tells you right there. It tells you what gender is and that says spawning or moves. Now we don't really need to know the moves, but you could click that if you want to, but we're going to click spawning. So upon clicking spawning, you will get some more information where it says Mew spawning wiki standard spawns. It says speci specific specials Mew level 70 biomes modified jungle under Minecraft. So that means it's a vanilla biome. It's modified jungle. So that is an actual biome name. Rarity, ultra rare, time of day. So what that means in translation is Mew will spawn at level 70 in the modified jungle biome at an ultra rare chance during daytime. That's what that means. If you guys wanted more information, you could just click the actual uh, webpage link, which it would open up and give you the exact, like all the information again. But this is essentially the exact same thing. All the information you need from you right before your eyes if you want to click moves you could also and then you would get this entire spam of of different tm moves hm moves tr moves what moves it can learn you also tell you what moves it learns leveling up etc so yes that is literally how you use the slash wiki command now i will test it with something that cannot spot in the world like mewtwo so if i do mewtwo and hit enter you will see it still gives you the information that you need however if i click spawning no spawning biomes were found. So if you get a message like that, it means this Pokemon does not currently spawn in the world naturally. You are going to need to acquire it under any other means. Now, you notice there's another tab now that says forms and palettes next to moves and spawning. That appears only if a Pokemon has different forms like the pink Pokemon, Valencian Pokemon, Shadow Pokemon. Uh, shiny Pokemon will not be counted under this. It's only if it's a specific like Pixelmon added a new form to the Pokemon in the game. That's how you will get it. Um, and under that, as you can see, it says Mewtwo's forms and palettes, giveaway Mewtwo, and then it has the link to the wiki, which means that you would have to go to the wiki page to get information on that. I believe that giveaway Mewtwo is like a specific event type Mewtwo. You can't get that in the world. Now I will, however, use slash wiki command on a Pokemon I do know has, has different forms that can spawn in the world itself. So I'm going to do slash wiki Eevee. So under wiki for Eevee, you'll see there's even some more tabs. There's Evolution, Daycare, and then Forms and Pouts. So if I click Evolution, you'll see it says all the different ways you can evolve Eevee. It tells you exactly all the information you can possibly know to evolve it. If I clicked uh, Daycare, it would give you the daycare information. So it says what field group it is, how many steps you need to walk to hatch an Eevee egg, the duration of how long it will take in the daycare, the daycare and the requirements for it in the daycare. Because if you guys know the new daycare system works where you have to give it items to perform the daycare system. Um, if I click forms and palettes and scroll down, Eevee's forms and palettes, we have creator Eevee, spirit Eevee, and strike Eevee. So spirit Eevee, I will click um the information for and then it will bring up all the information on spirit ev specifically so if i wanted to know where spirit ev spawns i would click spawning and then you will get this information right here 
So you got to watch though when this information comes up because it will say sweet scent and that is if you are using the sweet scent move or ability. I forget how that works exactly but that works differently than the actual spawning itself. So you're going to want to look under where it just says normal like grass which would be grass spawning and as you can see it says special species Eevee biomes and then it lists the biomes that get spotted such as tall birch forest birch forest hills birch forest tall birch hills and it says rarity at rare and time of day is well day so just keep that in mind uh however you're going to want to also make sure i actually just made this mistake myself um you're going to want to look under where it specifically says the name of the EV. So see how it says Special Species EV Palette Strike? You're going to want to look where it says Special Species EV Palette Spirit. So I'm pretty sure this is this still kind of confuses me. But it says the spirit that there's no location spawn. But it does say it has an ultra rare rarity at night. I think when something like that happens, I think it's just a glitch in the actual uh, command. Because this command isn't perfect. It's pulling the information from the actual wiki page. If I actually go onto that page right now, which I will do just to get the information myself for the Spirit Eevee. Um, if I look for the specific Spirit Eevee, it actually does not have it listed on the page. That might be why it doesn't spawn. But there is a Spirit Eevee and I know it does spawn. So I'm not sure if they just temporarily disabled it because of maybe it's going to change in an update soon. That could also be the case. But anytime there's an error like that, always double check on the actual page. If the information isn't on the page, then that's probably why I couldn't pull the information on here. But I wanted to give you guys a full examples of things that can spawn, things that can't spawn, and what happens if a glitch does occur in the command itself. It's not really a glitch, it's just more like I can't pull the information. But yes, this command works with every single Pokemon in the world. The only time you will find issue with this command working entirely is when it's a new Pokemon that has just been added. There is a chance sometimes if it's a Pokemon that's just been added like a Generation 9 Pokemon, the information is not there instantly. Um, but most of the time it does work almost instantly because they have because again it's it's reading the code that's put into the mod itself and it's also reading from the wiki page either way i hope this guy was helpful to you if it was consider leaving a like on this video subscribing if you're new if there's anything else you would like help with any questions comments or video ideas you guys have for things i should make guides on let me know in the comment section down below and i hope to see you all in the next one have a great day everyone stay safe goodbye